Hey guys, this is my Joe's my Joe Super Channel. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to play chess. Today I'm gonna to show you how to play chess today. Alright? So that sounds like a lot of fun, right? I mean like okay. Maybe chess is not the best game, but I like it because it's challenging, it's classic. And yeah, so it's a really fun game. Uh, well, not necessarily really, fu really fun fun. There's like, I mean, I mean, there's Monopoly, and there's uh, Sorry, and there's so many other games. But I'm just going to show you how to play chess if you ever been interested. So just enjoy. Alright, so I set up the chess game. Ah, set up the chess game board. So you can see. Alright. Actually, hold on one minute. Alright, we have our chess board game set up. Alright? Let me put up the light. <clears throat> Alright, here we have our chess board game. And this is how you can tell it's right. Alright, so. The white goes first. And you... And you always want to have, like, let's say if it's black and white, you want to have a white corner on your right side, depending on where you're standing or, or playing. And you want to have a left, a left black corner on your left side. And over there, look, if someone was over there, right corner for them, because it's our left, and a left black corner for them, so it's our their their left and our right. All right, and here's how you can tell to set it up. All right, that's the first thing you want to know. So you want to know, like, you don't want to have it where, where, like, uh, 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 sorry. Uh, hard to teach how to play chess. Uh, sim I mean, it's not necessarily simple if you play with a professional. You play with professionals, they don't play easy. Believe me. I play with professionals. I play with many professionals. They never play easy. I beat a few. I didn't beat a few. But, <clears throat> alright, let's talk about the pieces. Let's talk about their probability and where they belong when you want to set up. But, okay, this is called a rook. Or some people call it a towel. And it goes on the corner of your where you are. Alright? This... Is the knight? I like to. Oh, people call it the horse, the knight. It's really called a knight. And it's shape of the horse, and uh. Okay, so this is what it can do. First, I'll show you. First, let me explain the pieces. All right, so we have our rook, and then there's our horse. All right, so you want to have one rook over here, one horse. On this, on the red, on the left side. Okay, you wanna, you're gonna have two rooks, two horses, and two bishops. This is a bishop, and it goes diagonally, and I'll show you later. All right, this is our queen, and it, the reason why it's called the queen, it's because it's the most powerful piece of all it could do literally any move basically and then that's how you set up the other side oh sorry about that i put the light back on uh all right so that's how so that's how that goes Okay, all right. Sorry about that. Okay, so those are your pieces, and here's the final last piece: your king. It could only do this. It could do the same thing the queen does, just one. It could only move one step, and I'll show you why. And last but not least, the weakest of all is the pawns. It can only move forward, and I'll show you basically how. All right. So, and how do you position them? So you position your rook, you position your rooks at the corners at the end. You position your knight, uh, like, between the rook and bishop. 
the bishop is either right next to the queen or king. And you want to place the knight right between them. And the pawns just go right in the front. They're like they're like the little soldiers. And you can tell, and you know where the queen and king is. Now let me show you where there's situations where the king and queen are in wrong positions. That is wrong, alright? Because first, you need to know... Okay, first, it's not on their card. <coughs> Here's something. The king goes on the opposite color and the queen. So the queen goes on its color. So this would be white. So that means get that king out of there. And oops. Let that let the queen go on its color. Because that would be white instead of red. Then the king goes on the opposite color. Ugh, sorry. Alright, so that's how you set up a chessboard. All right, now let's talk about the movements, and we'll do, like, a little fun game. All right, so moving the chess pieces. This is different. All right, so first thing, you can almost only move the pawns. So there's our black, here's our white. All right, so I'm going to move white basically goes first, but it really doesn't matter to me. White technically goes first. That's the rules of the game. So, or if it's clear or unclear, it's clear that goes first. So, the pawn can move only one or two spaces. And now, let's say you move one space and the other person moves one or two spaces. Let's say that person moves two spaces. You can't do two spaces because, number one, you can't, you don't, the pawn doesn't kill people straight. The pawn can only kill people diagonally. Like, I'll show you in a minute. Now, let me show you. Now, let me tell you another thing. When it comes to pawns, if they move once, they can't move twice again. Alright? Or if they move twice, they can't move twice again. They can only move twice once. Or or once the whole day. Okay? And then, okay. So... This is the move I like to do first. I like to do that. Alright, I like to move my first pawn in front of my king up. Alright, let's say they move... Let's say they're going to move a knight. Alright, they can move a knight because... Because every single piece cannot go through their own pieces. But the knight is the only one that can go through pieces. So, and it does it in a weird shape. So it does it in like an L. So here we go... One, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, but there's someone there. So we can either go one, two, three, or one, two, three. I want to go here. See, it's an L shape, all right? And now let's say here, if there was no one there, like, let's say there was no one here. This horse could go right there. That's the cool thing I love. Them. I love the horses so much, and it's really cool how they can use, they're used to kill people. All right, so that's her move for the block. Now let's talk about the bishop. Any bishop, the bishop can only stay on its color. This is the white slash red bishop in this case. It can only move diagonally on the red. So let's say I move it here. All right. Just saying. Alright, so I move it there. Doesn't it can only do now. Let me show you something. So it can only move diagonal. It can't go like this. It can't go all the way like that. It can only stay on the red, but it can only move diagonal. It can't like jump over a black piece. No, 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 no. That's that's cheating. Alright? So that's how you move a bishop. Now we we talked about the knight. Now let's talk about. Uh, we'll talk about. We'll talk now. Let's talk about the queen. The queen is a very, very, very powerful piece. And watch. So let's say someone over there just moves another pawn. Let's just say. Uh, all right. We're moving another pawn. Someone over there moves another pawn. All right. Now let's look here. Our queen is available. The queen could do anything, literally. 
It can't. The only th this is the only thing the queen can't do. Let's look about the queen. Let's look at the things the queen can do. It can go diagonal. Now let's say it was here already. It can go straight. It can. Uh, so it can go diagonal, straight, backward, left, right. Diagonal, diagonal backward, diagonal backward, diagonal forward, diagonal forward. Alright, so this queen is so powerful. Now, the only thing it can't do is the L of the horse. That's the only thing it can't do. Alright? And this is what people get confused about. Alright? Let me show you something. Let me show you a situation. A lot of people ask me... Um... Now, a lot of people ask me, um, is a, a rook stronger than a bishop? Yes, the, the rook is stronger than the bishop. And here's why. The bishop can only stay on one color. Let's take a look at the rook. The rook, or the towel, can go on, can go straight, backward, left, or right. But here's the thing, it can go on both Colors. It could go on both colors. That's why I consider it more powerful. All right. Okay. So we got through all our pieces. Now let's go through attacks. All right. How does a pawn attack? A pawn does not attack forward. It attacks sideways. All right. Watch this. That's how a pawn gets killed. All right. Now look. Let's say I moved here and then another pawn is right here and then I moved. Okay. Let's say there's a situation where we have this. That pawn moved all the way here. <clears throat> and this pawn is in trouble because it can kill it. it pawns kill sideways. It can kill anything sideways. So what I ought to do is I can do that. But I can't go two because I already went two. Now. I can't kill this guy. The only way I could kill that guy, diagonally. That's the only way I could kill him. Alright? So the pawn could kill anybody diagonally. The horse, rook, anybody on the other side. Just not its own team. Alright? Now, let's say you get your pawn all the way to the other side. Now, and let's say you already have a queen on board. You can get two queens... Or if you don't have a queen, you can get your queen back. You can get literally any piece back you want. You can get a knight, a queen, a bishop. But but the queen is usually in computer games. I recommend you just do um like the strongest piece that you can get. Because it just goes crazy with the queen and stuff. But yeah, you can actually get two queens back. And three if you're lucky. And what's the main point of the game? We have, we, we, the, the game is so interesting, but... But what's the point of it? Alright? What's the point? The point is to get, kill the other player's king. That's why it's almost the weakest piece. But it's, a, it's the most valuable piece. Because if it's dead, game over. Like, look. Let's say I had a situation where... Alright, let's take a look at the situation. The king is there, a queen is there, and a rook is there. That's checkmate. Well, oh wait, no it's not. Now look, it's almost checkmate. But the thing is, watch this. If you do this, you're safe. Because the queen can't do that. They can't do the move of the knight. But watch this. If it, you do this, the rook can attack like that. So the rook can attack almost the way it moves anyway. It could attack in the way it moves. Same with every single piece. Now look. The queen can't go here. The queen. It can only go here or here. If it goes here, that's a problem. The queen would just kill him. Now, let's say this is a situation where there's a pawn here. And somehow there's another one here. Yes, yeah, so let's say so, uh, there's another one there. All right, now watch this. This is all checkmate. Now look, here's why. If it goes here, the pawn can kill a king. Goes here, the pawn kills the king. Queen, 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 queen. 
spawn. And yeah, so that's how checkmate works. It's the only checkmate is when the king can't be saved. Now, let's say there's a situation where there's a pawn right there, but it's on the other team. And let's say I say checkmate, and the other guys know, no, it can kill a queen. And you don't really don't want it to kill a queen. Alright guys, so that's it for today. That's how you play chess. And yeah guys, so don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like, no dislikes. I hope you enjoyed the video. And maybe I'll, uh, I'll make a video of me playing against someone. Alright guys, see you next video. Bye!